Hi, I'm Jim. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm going to teach you and Jordan how to install a rain barrel today. Typically people think of rainwater as something they need to get away from the house and, and how do I get it out of my yard? And we try to teach people that rainwater is a resource. It's really good for plants and by catching it, you can utilize it to um, use that mineral rich water to save money from irrigation that you do anyway and catch that water and hold it until times when we have a drought um, and you need that water back. The tools you're gonna need are a hacksaw, a drill, a pedestal or cement blocks, and a flex elbow or a diverter. We'll show you what those are today and how to put them on. We've leveled the ground and put large rocks to secure a base, and then we're gonna find a good place to put this pedestal. Another thing besides a pedestal you could use is cement blocks. The pedestal is the base that gets used for holding the rain barrel, so having a, a very solid base so it doesn't tip over is very important. Now we're gonna put the rain barrel in place and mark it for installation. There's two options here for the installation. One would be with the flexible downspout and the other would be with a diverter. We'll show you each and the benefits of each one. For the flex downspout connection, we're gonna put the downspout on the barrel and then mark the downspout where we want it to, to go in. So we're gonna mark where we want the cut. We want this cuff to slide up over the downspout so I'm not cutting it up here, I'm cutting it down here, and this is gonna slide up onto it, and then I'm gonna put in the screws. The diverter is used as a way of sending water to the rain barrel first, and then in a heavy downpour, it continues down the downspout. So this one will get mounted right in line, this hose will go over to the rain barrel, and when the hose is full, it will come down the downspout like it did before. Now that we have the downspout marked, it's time to take it down for cutting. Okay, downspouts are made out of aluminum. They cut pretty easy, but we're gonna use uh, a metal cutting blade on a hacksaw or a power tool reciprocating saw. Okay, we've got our mark and we'll start cutting. This is where the cuff would slide on and we'd put the attachment and you make sure that that fits and attach with screws. This is what's called an inline diverter. So it fits into the downspout, goes over here and the downspout will come up under here and be screwed in place. Jordan is hooking up how the rain barrel would connect to it and it will divert water to the rain barrel first, and then when that's full, it sends it down the downspout the way it typically would. So you're preparing yourself for the barrel being full, and it diverts it automatically. So how do I use the rain barrel? Well, with it being up like this, it's really handy to use your sprinkling can and put it right under the barrel, open up the spigot, and the water will pour into the can. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a garden hose fitting and put it right on the hose and sprinkle from the hose. So what are the rain barrels made out of? These are made out of food grade plastic. This actual barrel came from Greece with olives and olive oil and um, they're drained in the United States and packaged, turned into rain barrels with the spigots and the overflows and the screens on top. And do I have to worry about mosquitoes getting inside of the rain barrel? The top of these has a window screen, the same aluminum window screen as you might have in your home. So it keeps mosquitoes from getting into the water. So there's no problem with mosquitoes. If the water gets smelly, all you do is just open up the rain barrel and let it drain. And then fresh water will come in the next time we get a rain. That's how you install a rain barrel. We hope you do that at your house. If you would like to purchase a rain barrel, head over to our website at theconservationfoundation.org.